Hey there guys, it's going? This is Rex Rue here, and today I just wanted to do a little sprite video on basically giving, just giving you guys some sprite tips on how to improve the look of your sprites for some more dramatic looks and more kind of, uh, I don't want to say mature looks, but uh, more, just more epic kind of looks, I suppose. This is going to be like more, uh, well, I guess you guys will see as I go along, so... <laughs> I'm going to go through this uh, kind of in a quicker fashion. I'm not really going to spend too much time explaining, but rather showing you guys. And for the kind of the techniques which I'm going to show, I don't really have any names for them, and there isn't really any names to begin with, so you guys are just going to have to make it up as I kind of go along here, I suppose, if you really want to do that. But nonetheless, let's just go ahead and get right into it after I let you guys know that I am a bit tired today, so if I have uh, kind of a, t if I seem kind of uh in a in a yeah in a in a relaxed ish mood and uh, stuff like that and some of my pronunciation or whatever in words doesn't come out as it probably should uh, you know forgive me I apologize but I kind of wanted to do this video uh, right now so yeah <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and begin uh, I'm gonna start off by creating a simple circle here and uh, I'm gonna paint the inside of it red. And I'm going to get a white color here, and I'm going to choose this one right here without an outline, and just give it some very simple, see, I'll give some like that, uh, some very simple little shines right there uh, by using the white circles. And next up, I mean, right now it looks, I don't know, it looks kind of okay. It looks very simplistic, though, and a little bland. So what I'm going to do is go into the image here that, uh, and use some of these options here that GameMaker Pro has available to us. So in this little uh, image list of options, I'm going to go to gradient fill and I'm going to choose the circle one right here. And whoa, it does a dramatic change to our sprite here. And I think it looks a lot better than this, if I do say so myself. And it drastically changes into this really like epic looking kind of just very different sprite. And it really looks really cool. So Hit OK, there we go, and there's our new sprite. So, I mean, just by creating a red ball, putting some little shines on it, and then using that simple little uh, little gradient fill, that circle gradient fill, uh, that's what we end up having. So, anyway, that's one little cool thing I wanted to show you guys. Let's go and do something different. All right, so this time I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, just create a square. Whoops, want the outline one. And I'm going to paint it a different color. Now I'm going to go for kind of a, a drastic stone look here. All right, and I'll do something like that. And then we'll get kind of a kind of a grayish thing going on here. Put something up over there. And I'll get maybe a little black and put some outlines up here. Just some, just some lines in the middle. And of course I'll color these a little a different shade as well. All right, there we go. All right, maybe do a little something like that. And then I'll just end it off by taking the square tool, just getting the outline, and putting the outline right there and right there. Now, this looks kind of cool, a lot better than the uh, circle, admittedly. However, I still want to do more. So what I'm going to do is go back into our image options, and I'm going to go to blur. And I'm going to blur the large amount, and not the transparency, only the colors. I'm going to hit OK. And let's go back into the image here and click on Sharpen and go to Special. And again, we're not going to blur that transparency because then we'll get something like that. And that's definitely not what we want. We want the whole entire image. And automatically, we have this really, this, this different kind of a change in, uh, in our little, little sprite here. And we could stop here. We could stop here, but I want to go a little further. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head back into our gradient fill, our little friendly gradient fill option here, and automatically, if we're, if we're on this uh, little circle gradient fill, we get this different change in what our sprite looks like as opposed to this right here, this right here. But I want to go a little something like that. And so if we click OK, and of course we have all these other options too, which all look really awesome, but for now I want to do uh, this one right here. And of course we can change up the tone and stuff, so... If we were to go something like that, we know we get kind of that effect. But I just want to keep the the black for now. If we click OK, there we go. That looks a lot cooler. And it definitely, I mean, compared to our original sprite, which we had, I mean, if we undo, if we care, ah, excuse me, if we compare this to our original sprite, let's undo these changes. There we go. We have this, and by just a few image options, we've changed it over into this. So that's pretty much. Uh, 
the majority of what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, just those three options, the sharpen, the blur, and the gradient fill. Um, you can get some really cool uh, designs and stuff with your sprites. And there's one more thing I, would, I do want to show you guys. Let's go ahead and create a new sprite here. And this is along the lines of the button eyes feature. So if we click on the button eyes feature, and whoops, that's not what I want to do. Just go ahead and uh, let's give this like a gray kind of look. All right, let's button eyes. Here, wait, did I click button eyes? No, I did not. Button eyes. There we go. And uh, we have this little button here, so I'll just hit OK. And let's try going through our other options again. So starting off with the blur. All right, and then we'll go back to our sharpen. All right, there we go. And now what I want to do is, let's see, let's sharpen again, actually. Hmm. You know what? Actually, forget the blur for now. Let's just go straight over to sharpen. There we go. That's a little bit more what I wanted. So automatically, we have a bit of a different look. More of like a like an armored kind of look. Like maybe this could be kind of a bolt or something. And it looks a lot different from the regular button which we just had. Which is pretty remarkable considering all we did was sharpen it. So what I'm going to do next is go to gradient fill. And whoa, there are some pretty cool looking options here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and go to blur. And um... <laughs> Let's do something like that. Go back to sharpen. There we go. And let's go to gradient fill. And let's see what all we can get. There we go. So we're getting some more, more kind of cool stuff going on here. And I mean, as you can see, as I just cycle through a lot of these, we get a lot of different looks. And a lot of different really cool looks. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one for now. And you'll see, I mean, it just, it dramatically changes the way that we originally had. I mean, originally, if we go back, we just had this simple button, and we've changed it over into something like this and it looks like a more of like a machinery kind of thing and I mean you could just do there's so many possibilities with just these very simple options that we have going on here and so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today guys and uh, hopefully you know maybe gave you guys some ideas or things to do with your stuff and your sprites and whatnot and uh, yeah so <laughs> anyway guys that's all I wanted to show you and uh, excuse my somewhat tired tone jeez I need to take a, or not even take a nap, just go to bed or something, but I just figured I'd do this beforehand and uh, stuff like that, so anyway, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, all the different kind of stuff, and as always guys, until next video, until next time, this has been Rex Furry, I'll see you then.